All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of 6 is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 6. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x minus 1 to the power of 6 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 6 minus x minus 1 to the power of 6 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite this as x to the power of 3 to the power of 2 minus x minus 1 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x to the power of 3, and b is x minus 1 to the power of 3. So I get x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3 minus x minus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to divide this into two equations. So for, this equa for my left-hand side equation, I get x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. And for my left-hand equation, I have x to the power of 3 minus x minus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. So to solve for my left side equation, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, I have x plus x minus 1 times x squared minus x times x minus 1 plus x minus 1 squared. And this is equal to 0. And this turns into 2x minus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So I get another two equations from this. I get 2x minus 1 equals 0, meaning x is equal to 1 half. And I get x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. And to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is 1. So I get x is equal to negative and negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 1, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. And the square root of negative 3, I can rewrite that as the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. And if you didn't already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I get 1 plus or minus the square root of 3i over 2. So these are two more solutions, and these being imaginary solutions. Now, going back over here, I have x to the power of 3 minus x minus 1 to the power of 3 equals 0. And for this, I'm going to use the property a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So I get x minus x minus 1 times x squared plus x times x minus 1 plus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. And these two x's cancel out, so I get negative 1 times x squared plus x times x minus 1 plus x minus 1 squared, which all turns into, if you simplify this, 3x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. And now to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula again. I don't have to write out the formula. So I get 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 12, which is negative 3 over 2 times 3, which is 6. 
So I get x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 3i over 6. So these are two more solutions to this equation.